Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and today we're playing Binary Domain. Let's go in here so the audio might be a little bit quieter. So, this is one of the games that I've gotten for free since I started my YouTube channel, and therefore, I'm not really invested in them. So for this November, for Thanksgiving, I'm just playing every game I got for free, or a lot of them at least, and seeing if I want to really play it, giving them a 30 minute try. Uh, I got all of these games so far at least just because they were either free on Steam or the Humble Store or somebody tweeted out the code. I'm always looking for free games because the more games I have, the more choices I have in what to play. If I can actually decide what I want to play versus just being forced to play something random, uh, I typically have a better experience as anyone would. Now, this game is a little interesting because it has controller support, but it doesn't show it on the PC game. And it has a lot more options, but they're all in a separate PC only configuration pre launch window. Uh, this is pretty typical. Uh, I'd say it's it's slightly f close to 50% of the time games that are made for consoles have console settings built in and then there's a PC version uh, that adds some other features like MSAA, anti-aliasing, what resolution do you want to run at, uh, do you want better details, all of those things on consoles are typically, or at least they, when this game came out, were uh, completely controlled and unchangeable on the console. There is an interesting thing here, as we go silent, that has apparently a voice recognition uh, function for, I assume, the multiplayer, and it seems like you can say any of these phrases and it will work. Uh, it kind of feels like maybe it's a a middle ground to stop people from just saying garbage or playing music to other people doing multiplayer. But I mean, you've got some some incident, some rude phrases here that you, they're still encouraging and helping. I mean, seriously, uh, the S word, the F word, damn, uh, god damn. Seriously, uh, if you were trying to to force the players into to not saying something offensive, uh, why then put in the cuss words? Mm -hmm. And then right now on my microphone, it certainly does work, although it does seem like you have to probably shout pretty loud to for it to not count it as noise. If your speaking voice does not cross the line, try lowering the noise settings. And you can see my speaking voice. I don't need that much of a noise gate on my setup. My setups, I wouldn't call it particularly professional, but it is better than an average person with just a console hat. Let's, let's see if this works. Uh, stop. I can't. So I'm supposed to be saying, I can't. I can't. And it's not working. Interesting. A different word was recognized. Press a button and see, because we don't have the control buttons labeled correctly, it's telling me to press space. All right, let's try this. Come here. Hold position. All right, we got one to work. So that was a recognition of score of 70. But really, I'm not going to use any of this anyway, so uh, it doesn't matter to me one bit. For my purposes, the thing that I want to see is how long is this campaign and since I haven't even said it yet this is a run and gun shooter uh, 
that's where I want to go. Mode for players familiar with first person controls. This game is the standards difficulty and it's called Rust em Up or Cakewalk or Survival. Hmm. The default aim assist is turned on to help with targeting your enemies. So if you wanted aim assist, go with Cakewalk. Uh, prepare yourself for some full on action. Hmm. I don't know if this is really any better to do the Wolfenstein or a uh, Doom way of having funny titles for easy, medium, and hard. Um, I think there should probably be a standard way. There is should there should be a pure story mode where almost all interaction is uh, taken out, or at the very least, it's impossible to actually die. I'm talking something as low as like a two-year-old could play the game. Somebody that doesn't even know how to use a controller. There should be an easy mode, there should be a medium mode, there should be a hard mode, and then I would say above that there should uh, should be up to what kind of game it is. Uh, but adding different names for every game and then making the player uh, guess a little bit, even though you probably can figure it out, doesn't help. Uh, but at least they're explaining what this is. I'm going to do cake walk just to start off with. Uh, um, just to see how easy the game is. I very rarely, when talking and distracting myself because I'm recording, find that easy is too easy. Now, I don't know anything about the story so far. It looks good. This is a Sega published game, which generally means that it's better than a, a cheap indie game. Orders from the International Doesn't mean much more than that. Association Executive Office. 42 hours ago, the IRTA Council approved Rust Crew deployment to enter Japan covertly hmm. and investigate reports of Amida Corporation's development of human-like robots. Your orders are to enter the Tokyo Bay seawall and infiltrate the lower city slums. Rendezvous with the other national squads and head for Amida. Hmm. I'm trying to, trying to remember if this game was given away numbers. for free you may engage local because of Bayonetta being, Good luck and Godspeed. being released on PC. I don't think it was for that reason. I just think this game was given away for free <laughs> specifically around that time because it doesn't look like it's the, the same company that made like Platinum Games made Bayonetta. They didn't make this game. Welcome to Japan, brother. That's my welcome. Your ugly ass. <laughs> Where's all my dancing geisha girls? You ain't seen what I'm wearing under this wetsuit. Hmm. Is it lace? And I, this might be the game where you run and slide a lot, which really isn't saying much. There's a lot of first-person shooters where you run and slide. Yo, Dan, let's go over the communication system. Hmm. Use your radio if you want to respond or say something to me. Okay, so in the main, um, in the main gameplay, you do have to talk to the AI uh, teammates, and I could certainly see why this game never became popular just for that. Because, you know, even if you're a teenager playing games in a room, uh, your parents probably don't want to hear you yelling and trying over and over again the same phrases. That Generally, parents want their kids to play video games quietly. Give them some peace at any age. Uh, hold down something to check in the sample one for various situations. To see the list of words recognized in the game, view the recognized word list under the voice settings and the options menu. No mic. If you have your mic, if your mic is not connected, the icon above uh, is shown in the upper right corner of the screen. The whole game, wow. So most people playing on PC, you're just going to have this no mic signal. Uh, it'll show you your mic status when the game begins and when the microphone is connected and disconnected. So it doesn't say there the whole time. 
Hmm. If your mic is connected but the voice link off icon is shown, the game will not accept voice input. The game only accepts voice input when the voice link icon is displayed. Oh, so maybe... Well, understand how to use your radio now? So only certain parts of the game... Uh, do you actually use the volume? During gameplay, we will receive questions from your teammates, assess the situation, and respond. If you need examples to these responses, press and hold uh, some button. <laughs> Who knows what? Yes. Good answer. Keep it up. So right there, I had to say yes to tell him I understand. Uh, the game may pick up background noise as it may cause your teammates to react to this. If this is frequent, please adjust the noise threshold within voice settings and options. Pretty quiet. Uh, well, relatively quiet where I'm recording, so that won't happen probably. But on the other hand, it will pick up me talking the whole time. Uh, you can still play the game without voice input. To do so, turn voice input off within the game setting options. Uh, press and hold that same button to display available options and press the button to for your response choice next let's go over our gear handling weapons and battle techniques hmm you can skip this if you don't need it so you want to go over your gear and stuff or not yes okay let's do this bro all right first shooting dan you see that sign over there no yeah what's up Where's the sign? Huh? Can't hear you. Let's see. Focus. Run that by me again? I'm trying to find... Yo, where's your usual swagger? The it button. Like you, man. The focus. Yeah? Don't know what about, but... Well, cool. And so you're gonna just get this the whole time. Me? What's up? Tell me a joke. I have no idea what you just said. There All it right is. Then. Shoot that sign. That's the Y button. You'll have a better chance of hitting your target if you get in a firing posture first. Something wrong? Shoot already. None of these buttons are in the right right move. Don't good job me for that. Sounds like sarcasm, yo. Dan, hurry up and shoot that sign. I I cannot figure out any of these buttons. I right. voice recognition settings. Game settings, control assist, voice input. Let's turn that off to start off with because that's not going to work at all. And I found that the left bump button does that, but oh, I cannot figure out any controls here. Like, this is the left trigger, this is the right trigger, this is. Uh, this is the right bump. This is B. It's telling me to do two buttons at once. And I have no idea what two buttons that would be. I'm hitting all the face buttons. Like, when I right stick down, I come to the menu. When I left stick down, I do this. This is the right D-pad, left D-pad, down D-pad, up D-pad. Uh... Oh my goodness, it's the back button. This is insane. It's the back and start button. Okay. So the back and start button on an Xbox One controller fires. This is insane. Total, total insanity. Uh, but I can't move... can't move it like the analog sticks 
aren't like the back button itself aims and the start just blind fires you I see why this game is being sold like this like seriously is there not some controls here Like, there's nothing here as far as changing controls. And l let's say for a second there is. Uh, well, I found reload. Let's say for a second there there is some kind of patch or hack or something that that allows you to. Uh, like do this or maybe I was supposed to something wrong shoot already something wrong shoot like, already all of these maybe I'm just in the tutorial mode but there's like no skip button Slowly, am I slowly getting to the edge by just drifting? I think I am. Whoa, looking kind of rusty, brother. Hmm. But no biggie. You'll get your mojo back. Don't forget to reload when you get low on ammo. You don't want to be up shit creek without no bullets. Hmm. You can also get personal with enemies by quickly bashing them with your weapon. Alright, next let's check out your handgun. Take out your handgun and try shooting that sign. Hmm. So there's... Um... It's telling me to press... Press like up on the D-pad and it's not working <laughs> again like I'm holding up on the D-pad down on the D-pad left on the D-pad right on the D-pad start button back button perhaps this was only really programmed to, uh, and it locks you in this vertical axis when you're doing this tutorial. Perhaps this was only designed for like a PlayStation 3 controller, and that would explain some things. But, like, I don't know. Let's let's see if we can. Just, I guess I need to put the controller down and just assume, assume that there's really no controller support here. Uh, I guess that is the truth of the matter. But this still, now I can aim with the mouse just fine, but I'm still definitely confused as to which key is which. If there is some letter on that that it's saying, I can't read what it says. Alright, one. There we go. Two. If that that was probably a little bit more obvious. Nice. Sure glad you're on our side. Hmm. Alright, that about does it. Okay, my man. Let's get on with the mission. So we're now WASD and forward and space to pick Don't up. Don't forget to grab that ammo there. And then have to pick up. Over here! Hmm. And have to climb. Yo, 
I was wondering, what are your plans after this is all done? You're a bit of a player. Vacation, chicks, tropics. And let's see, where is the control button? Uh, and then how do you do this? So definitely. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Same as it ever was. So tab yeah, and then several other buttons quick, to pick then. your choice. Man, this gimmick of the voice thing. Why we gotta execute the operation is not in shitty weather? Implemented well when they could have just popped up a selection, but then the major failure here is the lack of Im implementation. Uh, All right, let's go. Of we get in touch with HQ too. Proper control support, so. Like, there's nothing really wrong with this game. We haven't even started playing. We're still in the tutorial section. But I've spent 30 minutes messing Beetle with controls. Base. Loud and clear, Beetle 2. Line is secure, tracking locked. Current position, 35 degrees, 6356 seconds by 139 degrees, 7724 seconds. Ah, oh, thanks, Major. Now, how about in English? You're nearing the target infiltration point, smartass. It's less than a click ahead of you. Yeah, we're approaching now. Shouldn't be a problem. Remember, once you're inside the seawall, maintain radio silence. We'll cut this link once you're through. Any famous last words? Yeah, tell your mama I love her. I heard that, Botang. Base out. No, no choice there for a prompt. So you have a frag grenade, we'll try and throw that. Hmm. Honestly, if this had control support, I'd want to play it. At least for more than a little bit longer. I think this is probably different characters than the Japanese version. These will probably be two Japanese people in, in the Japanese version. Uh, it's supposed to guess, but that probably wouldn't change the story too much. Major, we're under attack. How about some ground support? But without controller support, I'm just not a keyboard. You're expecting anything different? Not since they started I'm not a keyboard and mouse shooter. Hey, wasn't my idea. That's too pro for me. We're out. And frankly, if I'm gonna play a game about shooting robots, there's millions of those. Uh, well, no, hundreds of those at least on Steam. One with controller support that l looks similar or better than this Ready? could easily be found. Dan, those things are bad news if they get too close. Stop them by shooting their legs. Alright. There you go. You got it, Dan. Now put it away for good. And this. So space gets you out of. Now aim for the head. They can't tell friends from foe after a solid headshot. Go on, blow their metallic brains out. So they want me to get out from my headshot. A frag grenade. Oh, where did that come from? Apparently, these guys are gonna respawn in. Some stuff hey, Dan, you can. In the way. Do something about it. Uh, players assault rival can build up energy in a shock burst. Uh, shock burst can be only used with Dan's unique assault rifle. Please change to assault rifle. Can't fire that bad boy if you ain't got no power. Gotta charge up somehow. Hmm. Boson sales or bosonic bosonic sales. Bosonic charger. Here's one. Shock burst. Hold down this. Hold 
down M? I'm pressing M and it's not working. So the, it's even the keys it's telling me are wrong. Like G Z X C I'm hitting all the keys on the left side. Shift Control Alt T Y M P I'm now looking at all the keys on the right. N M shouldn't be any key that is far away from the left and yet it is like five six seven eight nine zero y u i o p g h j k l v b n m comma period forward slash semicolon Ast apostrophe bracket left right bracket right backslash minus plus backspace backspace brings up the menu enter shift on the right control on the right alt on the right hold down space apparently you can run if you hold down space Caps lock. Tilde. I've hit every key on this keyboard. Uh, number lock num numbers. Number lock symbols. Enter on the number lock. Period on the number lock. Home. End. Page up. Page down. Delete. Insert. Print screen. Pause break. Function 1, Function 2, Function 3, Function 4, Function 5, Function 6, Function 7, Function 8, Function 9, Function 10, Function 11, Function 12. The only button left is the Windows key, and that can't be it. It's the middle mouse button. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can move forward. So M means the middle mouse button. How do you play the game without a if you don't have a middle mouse button? Get off like crazy. Save it for when you really need. Damn, a surveillance spot at twelve. Careful now. Call reinforcements at the spot. What? It's on to us. Destroy that surveillance spot before we shit deep in enemy reinforcements. You all right, Dan? You need my help? Yes. Got it. Hang on. Help me. Huh? What? It's on to us. Destroy that surveillance spot before we shit deep in enemy reinforcements. You all right, Dan? You need my help? Yes. Got it. Hang on. Huh? What? It's on to us! Destroy that surveillance box before we shit deep in enemy reinforcements! Three. Whoa! Where did that come from? And these buttons are weird, even when choosing your weapon. Like, I feel like I'm just making a fool of myself and and it's very possible somebody else uh, could play this game perfectly and, and totally figured out all the controls and everything perfectly fine. But I've always thought of myself as a slightly better than average video game player and I'm just not feeling like this game is ready to be played on a PC. 
it doesn't feel like it has real controller support. It doesn't feel like the buttons even on the keyboard are accurate. You were saying? Shit, that's a Grand Rancer! We don't have the firepower to take that down! That's all I needed to hear. Run! Come on, hustle! No stop him! Hammer through him! And so Shit, we're just running now. Ever give up? You're almost at the seawall, Beetle 2. Cutting <laughs> comms. Now. Roger that, base. Go on, I'll cover you. Age before beauty, my friend. Everyone's a goddamn comedian. And they cut me, they locked me into a cutscene. This would have been easy enough to uh F to swim instead of F to jump. Apparently the Seagate's gonna open to let the tanker in. Mm -hmm. That we could hitch a ride. Half the time is perfect or we're shit out of luck. Go for a fast mm -hmm. grab. Ready? Yeah, last thing I want to do is is There's have a, a with surveillance box. Time event. Okay, here's the plan. We move forward stealth by hiding in the shadow. And you know, this does not feel like easy to me. This does not feel like a cakewalk when I've had to struggle for spot. over 30 minutes now just there, to figure take out. Cover underwater. Uh, which button? Which uh, button? What are you doing? It's on to you, brother. Over here, bro. Guess we bit off more than we could chew. Just a lot of quick time things. This feels like this say? could have originally been huh? a arcade game. Just the world. a light we gun shooter style uh, style arcade game with a lot of prompts to trigger things. Now there there are more controls here, so maybe I'm wrong about that, but like Let's there's go. definitely something different and poorly designed in this and I guess that explains why I've never heard of this game and it explains why it's free and it the gate's open. really explains a lot Come of different I mean now. Uh, why it, it was never super popular guess we get off more than we could chew. And you can't lose them after. Picking your heels, man. Don't back down. Like mission failed. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Look, even going up and down on the menu doesn't work with the arrow key. And using the arrow keys now works. Well. I really had hopes for this game. <laughs> I wanted to play it all the way through. I thought maybe I'd gotten lucky, maybe I'd gotten a first person shooter game that would have been not triple A tier, but double A or e even maybe A tier. Something worth, uh, something playable but not particularly unique or great. Instead we've got a game with a weird voice recognition system that, which they clearly spent way too much effort on. And all that funding could have been put towards proper controller support and proper button positioning on the keyboard. And wow, I mean, I have never run into the to a war setup. And there's nothing in the options. Like, it's not like you could have come down here and changed the controllers. Uh, there's nothing here. And I didn't particularly no I specifically when I launched it with the Windows thing I specifically chose Xbox 360 controller input as the input it was in the field it knew it in the Windows version that that was what I was going to be using even though I'm using an Xbox one controller the button layouts are the same and still the game didn't work with that so 
this is a terrible PC port. It's unplayable. Maybe in its original format, it was all right and playable, but it's at best it was going to be all right, and that's not what I've got here. I've I've got just total total garbage. Like I think it's very fair to say if you have 30 minutes of frustration with a game, you should not continue playing it. That is why Steam has implemented its two hour, no questions asked, refund policy. Uh, because if you're having a bad time at the beginning, you don't, you shouldn't have to struggle. That's part of telling any story or making any kind of product. You have to get people's attention at the beginning and that's just not here. <laughs> they don't even have like a launch video or something to attract people. It's just it just says Sega after a few seconds and then goes back to the binary domain menu. Uh, yeah, this one is just unplayable, which is sad because it looks good and I would have put up with the voice thing. I can't put up with the bad controls. Sega. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.